Okay guys, well, I did most of the day uh, troubleshooting on my electrical issue. I I did make some video on it, but I don't think that that's going to be, you know, make for a good video. But what I found out was that, um, you know, stuff that I already knew, but I just solidified it, that the front part of the coach does not have shore power, even though we're plugged in. The bathroom doesn't have any power at all. I found out that the uh, TFI that's in the bathroom, that outlet, that one died. And uh, even though I replaced it this past spring, I think. and um, But irrelevant of new parts. Doesn't matter. And our bedroom back there, that is... It's back yonder. That is... Um, on shore power so what I did do is trace down the and I think I'll try to stitch this in I again I'm not good with with um, putting the videos together so I did do some troubleshooting yesterday and um, I, I thought it was my power issue in this motorhome was the switch gear um, but now it's leaning more towards the the inverter I have an older inverter in here and I have AC in on the AC out input and I have AC in on the AC out to input but I have nothing out on the number two so that explains why I don't have anything on this front side of the coach so it looks like I'm going to be buying a new inverter here fairly soon. Hopefully I can afford to get a pure sine wave inverter with a high enough wattage. And um, much like Eric said today, is getting, you know, more batteries. So I really do want to add four more batteries. Now some guys were saying to that effect that you don't need any more than one or two. But it also depends on what you're doing. Like right now, we're I'm making um, potatoes, or I'm cooking potatoes in the convection oven up there, and uh, we just cooked the steak, so that's good. And um, you know, it all depends on everybody's needs or demands on what they're going to do in an RV. And it dictates on what you're going to be able to do with it, and one of the things that to run an appliance like that, you could run it on 12 volts, sure. It's going to take an awful lot. I know an inverter takes an awful lot of energy just to convert it into um, 110. But, you know, it, it's with the cards that you have at hand that you're actually living with. So, unless you're going to totally revamp everything, go solar crazy... Which, which would be nice, but solar cooking and everything else, which is not exactly practical here in Colorado. But, um, we're going to make it happen. So, yay. So, it's just, any of you guys that are thinking about going into RV full-time, it really doesn't matter about your service records or everything else, because you're always going to be finding something else that is unserviceable that will go out and um, uh, you just it's just like a house you're just going to find something so anyway we're going to eat dinner here and hopefully you guys are having a good night talk to you later bye